Hello travelers, digital nomads, and expats. Welcome to another soul-searching adventure where we ditch the tourist traps and dive headfirst into the underbelly of experience. Today, we're diving into a comparison of six fascinating countries. Japan, the Philippines, Vietnam, Taiwan, Malaysia, and Laos. Nine distinct flavors on the palate of the Orient, each promising a unique blend of grit and beauty, chaos, and calm. We'll rate each country on food, lifestyle, adventure, cost of living, and ease of obtaining a long-term visa, all on a scale from one to 10. Pack your bags, forget your lonely planet guides, and let's get this show on the road. Japan, a land of stark contrasts where ancient temples cast long shadows on neon-drenched alleyways. It's a place where ancient traditions are woven into the fabric of modern life, where you can find Michelin-starred sushi next to vending machines. Let's talk food, the lifeblood of any culture. Japanese cuisine is a symphony of flavors and textures a testament to the meticulous artistry ingrained in their DNA. From the delicate dance of a perfectly crafted piece of sushi to the hearty embrace of a steaming bowl of ramen, your taste buds are in for a wild ride. We're talking fresh seasonal ingredients treated with respect, bordering on reverence. Expect to pay for the quality, but trust me, it's worth every penny. I'm giving Japanese food a solid nine out of 10, now the Japanese lifestyle is a different beast altogether. It's a paradoxical mix of rigid social structures and a deep-seated respect for individuality. The Japanese work ethic is legendary, bordering on insane, but they also know how to let loose. Whether it's belting out karaoke in a smoky bar or losing themselves in the surreal world of cosplay. It's a fascinating, often baffling, but always captivating culture. I'm giving it an eight for sheer intrigue. Adventure in Japan? It's there, but maybe not in the way you'd expect. Forget bungee jumping and whitewater rafting. This is about conquering the urban jungle of Tokyo, navigating the serene beauty of Mount Fuji, or losing yourself in the hushed reverence of a thousand-year-old temple. It's about immersing yourself in a culture so unique, so utterly foreign, that it becomes an adventure in itself. Seven out of 10 for the sheer what the hell factor. But here's the catch. Japan is not for the faint of wallet. The cost of living is high, especially in the major cities. I think Tokyo rents are similar to New York City. Japanese landlords typically are not super thrilled to rent out to foreigners either. Factor in the language barrier, which can be a real obstacle at times, and navigating daily life can feel like an Olympic sport. I'm giving it a six for cost of living, and that's being generous. As for visas, Japan has options, but they can be a bureaucratic maze. If you're not from a preferred country, be prepared to navigate a labyrinth of paperwork and red tape. It's doable, but it requires patience and a high tolerance for frustration. Let's give it a 6.5 for visa accessibility for a final score of 35 out of 50 points. The Philippines, a sprawling archipelago of over 7,000 islands where turquoise waters lap at the shores of volcanic landscapes. It's a place where Spanish colonialism collides with ancient Malay traditions, a melting pot of cultures that's as vibrant as it is chaotic. This is the real deal, raw and unfiltered. Food in the Philippines is a celebration of life, a riot of flavors that reflects the country's diverse heritage. Think Spanish adobo simmered in vinegar and soy sauce, Chinese influenced noodles slathered in savory sauces, and fresh seafood grilled right on the beach. It's not always pretty, but it's always delicious. And it's always served with a side of that infectious Filipino hospitality. Eight out of 10 for sheer flavor and soul. Life in the Philippines moves at its own pace. It's a laid back, 
island time mentality that can be both infuriating and liberating. Family is everything here, and communities are tight-knit. Don't be surprised if you're invited to a karaoke session with strangers that turns into an all-night feast. It's that kind of place. I give 7.5 for the lifestyle vibe. Adventure in the Philippines? Take your pick. Hike to the summit of a volcano. Dive into crystal clear waters teeming with marine life. Or explore ancient rice terraces carved into the mountainside centuries ago. And don't even get me started on the nightlife. Let's just say it's not for the faint of heart. Nine for sheer variety and adrenaline pumping potential. Now, for the good part, the Philippines is cheap. Like dirt cheap, you can easily live comfortably on a fraction of what you'd spend in the West. Rent is affordable, food is plentiful and inexpensive, and transportation is a breeze, even if it sometimes involves riding on the roof of a jeepney. Nine out of 10 for affordability. Visa-wise, the Philippines is relatively easy to navigate. Tourist visas are readily available, and there are options for long-term stays as well. It's not as straightforward as some Southeast Asian countries, but it's far from the most difficult. I'm giving, I'm giving the visa score a solid eight for a total score of 41.5 out of 50. By the way, I put together a free handy travel resource that every traveler should have to stay safe abroad. You can download it at the end of this. Okay, back to the video. All right, let's dive into Vietnam. This ain't your average travel brochure destination. This is raw, visceral, and pulsing with a kinetic energy that'll grab you by the throat and leave you breathless. Forget your fancy hotels and Michelin stars. Vietnam is all about embracing the chaos and digging into a bowl of steaming pho on a plastic stool, street side. The food, man, it's an explosion of flavors. We're talking fragrant herbs, fiery chilies, tangy fish sauce, all colliding on your palate in a beautiful orchestrated mess. You haven't lived until you've slurped down a bowl of bun cha, grilled pork swimming in a sweet and sour broth, or ripped into a banh mi, a symphony of textures and tastes stuffed into a crusty baguette. Trust me, your taste buds will be singing. I give it a food score of 9.5 out of 10. By the way, I think it has the best coffee in the world. I feel like I can weigh in on the coffee since I am a big coffee addict. But Vietnam's charm goes beyond the food. It's a country of contrasts. Ancient temples stand defiant against towering skyscrapers. Rice paddies stretch as far as the eye can see, and the Mekong Delta snakes its way through a tapestry of green. From the bustling streets of Hanoi to the serene beauty of Ha Long Bay, Vietnam is a feast for the senses. And the people, tough as nails, resilient and always ready with a smile. They've been through a lot, but their spirit is unbreakable. You'll find them hustling in the markets, sipping strong coffee in sidewalk cafes and zipping through the streets on a sea of scooters. It's a controlled chaos that's intoxicating. Lifestyle score is an easy 8.5 out of 10. Life here is cheap, damn cheap. You can easily get by on a shoestring budget, gorging yourself on street food, sipping potent local beers, and exploring the country's hidden gems without breaking the bank. I give it a solid nine out of 10 for cost of living. Vietnam is the type of place that gets under your skin. It's raw, it's real, and it's an experience that will stay with you long after you've left its enchanting shores, jungles, and underwater rivers. I give the adventure score nine out of 10. And the visas, relatively easy to snag, making Vietnam an enticing option for long-term travelers and digital nomads. An easy eight out of 10 for visas. Overall score for Vietnam is a 44 out of 50. Now, let's journey to a destination that blends tradition 
with innovation, Taiwan. Known for its bustling night markets, towering skyscrapers, and breathtaking natural landscapes, Taiwan offers a unique travel experience that captivates the senses. Taiwanese cuisine is a vibrant and flavorful blend of influences, including Chinese, Japanese, and indigenous traditions. Renowned for its street food, Taiwan offers an array of delicious options such as beef noodle soup, stinky tofu, and bubble tea. The island's rich culinary heritage scores in solid eight out of 10. As you explore the city, you'll be amazed by the seamless blend of old and new, from the historic temples like Longshan Temple to the modern marvel of Taipei, one of the tallest buildings in the world. But the wonders of Taiwan extend far beyond its urban centers. The island is a haven for nature lovers with stunning landscapes that range from the dramatic cliffs of Taroko Gorge to the serene waters of Sun Moon Lake. Taiwan is also a place of rich cultural heritage. You can experience the island's unique blend of cultures at the annual Lantern Festival, where the night sky is illuminated by thousands of glowing lanterns, each carrying the hopes and dreams of those who release them. Lifestyle is an easy eight out of 10. For those who seek adventure, hiking through the lush forests of Alishan or exploring the volcanic terrains of Yangmingshan, National Park offers an unforgettable experience. The surfing is actually some of the best in the world. It's not really considered a surf destination and still under the radar. I give it an eight out of 10 for adventure. The cost of living in Taiwan is relatively moderate, especially compared to many Western countries and neighboring Asian metropolises like Tokyo or Hong Kong. Housing costs vary widely, with Taipei being more expensive than other cities and rural areas. Public transportation is affordable and efficient, while food, especially from street vendors and local markets, is both inexpensive and of high quality. Utilities and healthcare are reasonably priced, contributing to a generally high standard of living without exorbitant expenses. So cost of living comes in at 7.5 out of 10. Securing a long-term visa in Taiwan can be challenging depending on one's purpose for staying. Work visas typically require a job offer from a Taiwanese employer and can be a complex process involving multiple documents and approvals. However, Taiwan offers various visa categories, including entrepreneur and investment visas, which might be more accessible for those meeting specific criteria. So the visa score is not the best compared to the others. I would say six out of 10. Whether you're a foodie, an adventure seeker, or a culture enthusiast, Taiwan has something to offer, giving it a total score of 37.5 out of 50. And now let's venture into another gem of the Far East, Malaysia. Malaysia is a country where the old meets the new, a land of contrasts and harmony. From the towering Petronas Twin Towers in Kuala Lumpur to the ancient rainforests of Borneo, Malaysia offers a rich tapestry of experiences for every traveler. Malaysian cuisine is a rich tapestry of flavors, reflecting the country's diverse cultural heritage, with Malay, Chinese, and Indian influences. Signature dishes include nasi lemak, a fragrant rice dish cooked in coconut milk, and laksa, a spicy noodle soup. Street food is particularly popular with bustling markets offering an array of satays, roti kanai, and char kway teow, showcasing the vibrant culinary scene. Food score comes in at 8.5 out of 10. Malaysia is also home to diverse cultures and traditions. You can witness the vibrant festivals such as Tai Pu Sam and Chinese New Year, or visit the historic city of Malacca, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, where you can walk through centuries of history and see the fusion of Malay, Chinese, and European influences, or perhaps 
find yourself exploring the serene tea plantations of the Cameron Highlands, where the rolling green hills stretch as far as the eye can see. The culture and lifestyle score comes in at 8.5. And for the nature enthusiasts, Malaysia's islands and beaches are a paradise. From the crystal clear waters of the Perhentian Islands to the stunning coral reefs of Sipadan, there's no shortage of natural beauty to explore. Coastal areas are renowned for world-class diving and snorkeling, while adventure parks and zip lining through the jungles of Langkawi add to the country's adrenaline pumping experiences. Adventure score is a commendable 8.5. So how much does it cost to live here? The cost of living in Malaysia is generally affordable, especially compared to Western countries and more developed Asian nations. Housing costs are reasonable with a range of options from high-end condos in Kuala Lumpur to modest apartments in smaller towns. Food is inexpensive and diverse, particularly when dining at local eateries and street food markets. Public transportation is cost-effective and widely accessible, and overall, Malaysia offers a high quality of life with relatively low expenses. Cost of living score comes in at 8.5. Okay, how about the visas? Obtaining a long-term visa in Malaysia can be relatively straightforward for certain categories, such as the Malaysia My Second Home, MN2H program, which targets retirees and foreign nationals with financial means. Work visas require a job offer from a Malaysian employer and can involve a detailed application process, including proof of qualifications and work experience. Path to citizenship, however, can be challenging. The most common route is through naturalization, which requires a minimum of 10 years of continuous residence in the country and proficiency in the Malay language. Malaysia generally does not allow dual citizenship, meaning applicants must be willing to renounce their previous citizenship. So for that reason, the visa score is quite low at six out of 10. Whether you're a foodie, a history buff, an adventure seeker, or someone looking to relax and unwind, Malaysia has something for everyone. Malaysia comes in for a total score of 40 out of 50. By the way, if you have been finding this video helpful, then don't forget to subscribe and share your travel stories in the comments below. Okay, back to the video. Welcome to Laos, a land of serene landscapes and timeless traditions. Nestled in the heart of Southeast Asia, Laos offers a tranquil escape from the hustle and bustle of modern life. Imagine drifting down the Mekong River with its gentle currents carrying you past lush greenery and quaint villages. Food in Laos is a delightful blend of flavors and textures. The local cuisine, with its emphasis on fresh herbs and spices, offers a culinary journey that is both unique and unforgettable. Savor the taste of lop, a traditional minced meat salad, or indulge in a bowl of khao piak sen, a comforting noodle soup. I feel the Laos deserves a solid 7.5 out of 10 for the food score. The ancient town of Luang Prabang, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, Zisasi is a treasure trove of history and culture, where golden temples and colonial architecture stand side by side. The natural beauty of Laos is unparalleled, from the cascading waterfalls of Kuang Si to the mysterious Plain of Jars. The country's landscapes are as diverse as they are breathtaking. But what truly sets Laos apart is its people. Warm, welcoming, and deeply connected to their traditions, the Laotians offer a glimpse into a way of life that is both simple and profound. Eight out of 10. For lifestyle, the serene town of Vang Vieng, with its dramatic limestone karsts and emerald rice fields, is a haven for adventurers and nature lovers alike. Whether you're exploring the bustling markets of Vientiane or meditating in a remote temple, the spirit of Laos will leave an indelible mark on your heart. Laos is the only landlocked nation in mainland Southeast Asia. No ocean, 
I love being near the ocean. So for adventure, I docked a point and give a decent seven out 10. Okay, next, cost of living. The cost of living in Laos is relatively low, making it an attractive destination for expatriates and travelers seeking affordability. Housing costs are inexpensive, particularly outside the capital city of Vientiane, with a range of options from simple apartments to more luxurious villas. Food is affordable, especially when dining at local markets and street vendors, offering a variety of traditional Lao dishes. Transportation and utilities are also reasonably priced, contributing to an overall low cost of living while enjoying a modest yet comfortable lifestyle. So for this, I gave it high 9.5 out of 10. Now, visas. Obtaining a visa for Laos is relatively straightforward for most travelers. Tourist visas can often be acquired on arrival at major entry points or in advance from Laotian embassies and consulates. These visas are typically valid for 30 days and can be extended for a small fee. For long-term stays, such as work or business visas, the process can be more complex, requiring sponsorship from a local company or organization and additional documentation. Nonetheless, Laos's visa policies are generally accommodating, making it accessible for visitors and expatriates alike. So visa score comes in at a decent 7.5 out of 10. And overall score for Laos is a solid 39.5. So, there you have it. Japan, the Philippines, Vietnam, Taiwan, Malaysia, and Laos. Six incredible destinations, each offering a unique flavor of adventure and cultural immersion. The winner is Vietnam, however. Whether you're chasing Michelin stars in Tokyo, diving with whale, whale sharks in Cebu, or getting lost in the labyrinth streets of Hanoi, the choice is yours. Ultimately, the best place for you depends on your own personal travel style and priorities. But one thing's for sure, any of these countries will leave an indelible mark on your soul. Tell me about your experiences in the comments below. I wanna hear your stories. Thanks for watching and wherever you choose to go, make it an adventure. Don't forget to subscribe. Click the link in the description for my free travel resources.